Hi, my name is Blush and I'm a product manager at Material. In this Mason video tutorial, I'm going to reveal to you uh, how to use the upcoming retest scheduler. The main purpose of the upcoming retest tool is to help the user prepare his test plan based on the due date of the tested appliances. At uh, startup, Mason checks the dates of appliances stored in the files in the preset default location. As a result of this check, Mason returns us a list of appliances, which has the retest date with uh, the period of the set date filter. Uh, this give us, uh, gives us an overview of the devices which has to be tested in a certain period. If we are not uh, satisfied with the default date filter, the date range can be changed on the fly. So if we now check this upcoming retest, we can see that, uh, that the, this, this is the default uh, uh, date filter and we can, uh, as I said, change it. Uh, now we have here uh, new data. So once we decide that the list of the devices in the retest scheduler meets our criteria, we can use the option to create a PADFX file. We simply select the data and create a PADFX file. Uh, this operation will create a new data structure of elements that need to be retested. When selected appliances belong to more than one data structure file, only one new data structure file with multiple nodes is created. So uh, if we check this data closely, uh, we can see um, that uh, now under each appliance, we have uh, two auto sequences, one with uh, previously uh, executed measurements and one empty ready for this new retest. So uh, we can now upload this uh, new data structure to our test instrument and we are ready to go on the location and perform uh, scheduled testing. So we first connect our test instrument uh, and then send data to our device. And we just overwrite one file. Save, yes, and upload. After we finish our job on the field, we return to the office. Uh, we open the source file we used for the uh, schedule and download the new data into the currently open file. This operation will update our database with the newly performed measurements from the field. We search for the original file. We open it. Test instrument is connected and we simply perform the option get data. After this download uh, will be finished, the PC software will ask us whether we want to download into the new file or the currently open file. Uh, we have to select the option download to currently open file. So this has now merged uh, or let's say updated our database. So we can check here uh, under the um, structure element basement where we can see that now both auto sequences are performed. So the old one and the new one with the new measurements. An overview of the upcoming retest scheduler is now finished. Thank you for watching uh, and don't forget to uh, like, uh, subscribe and share our videos. See you in the next one.